welcome to the my mobile site generator uh, installation video uh, we have here the zip file which is located here on my desktop as you can see it's right here I have already unzipped it like that and now we will copy everything to the FTP I use filezilla here and as you can see I'm already logged in you write your details here okay so host username and password now let's go to the public HTML folder and here we'll create a new domain a new uh, directory called msg okay and now we will copy as you can see from this archive we'll copy everything that's here uh, into our new folder okay this is it and now we're copying and while this is going on we can go and create the database go here this is uh, your domain dot com or in this case dot mobi and uh, you put here like that 2082 or you can also put like dash c panel now we write here the details and hit login and we're taken to the control panel of our site now we go to we scroll down to databases MySQL databases here and we will write we will add a new database called MSG okay once this done we'll also add a new member called um, let's call him my user and we'll put a password like P A S S word one click create user we go back and we have now to assign privileges to this user for our database we just created so we'll go to my user the database is MSG and click add click all privileges click make changes and that's it with the database now we have to wait for all these files to complete upload and then we'll continue I'll pause this because this will take a few minutes hello again we are back as you can see the upload of the files is finished so we can proceed to the next step of the installation which is this we go to uh, www.yourdomain.com or Mobi in case you have a Mobi account a domain and you write here slash directory where you installed the script in my case it's msg slash install okay so this is the screen that we receive it says to first step is created second one to ch mode uh, some directories and files what this means is to change permissions of files and folders usually uh, the hosts today um, already have this permission set up so you can just check it to be sure that it is 755 we'll do the same here and uh, we can check that right now so let's check images file permissions as you can see it's 755 so we don't uh, have to change anything here but in uh, config you have the constants.php file and you will have to change permissions for this one to 666 okay this is done and now we can proceed to the next step we have to click next to continue and now we have to insert here the database settings and uh, do you remember we had RLS Mobi uh, the username was MSG no 
was my user the password was password1 host 99% of the cases is local host database name here was msg admin user let's put admin and password click the next button installing the database database ok please click next to continue and it says enjoy my robot site generator now we can ch mode 644 the constant php file we will go and do that right now so 644 ok we go back to the site it says go to admin click here and now it asks for username and password and we put admin and password login we are taken to my mobile site generator version 1.04 what we do here first of all we have to create a member as you can see there is no member added right now so we'll go and click add member and now here it asks for username and password for the member we are creating so let's put their member and m password let's leave it like the bronze package so he can create two mobile sites add member it says member added successfully now in order to log in to this member we can go to uh, the domain.com or mobi slash um, msg slash members or we can use a better approach by view members and clicking login here what this does is it takes us to the members area of this member we just created as you can see there are no sites right now but we can uh, try to add a site which we will do right now so site name let's put site one identifier mobile this will be next to the msg uh, folder name where you install the script um, and you will see in a second how the link will look let's put the text like description let's put nice description let's place a logo let's see a logo here this one now it asks if we want to keep the search button on home page we don't want that right now show phone numbers on home page yes let's put the here call uh, office and the number let's put it like this or call support and let's put this okay now desktop website site this is uh, your desktop site so let's put domain.com next thing is the social uh, bar we will put this on the home page okay let's put it on the bottom and Facebook fan page let's just put the links here okay for Twitter for Yelp and let's put YouTube I think that's enough the background color we can uh, choose from a variety of colors so don't just click uh, try to uh, click and while the while the mouse button is pressed just drag it and then the color will start moving uh, changing sorry okay let's put uh, white for the background color the main color let's put I don't know we had something with orange okay so let's put something with orange here okay primary text color let's leave it to black uh, secondary text color black as well this is for the products actually the secondary text color okay we will click the save button and if you look here to the left you will see existing sites site one click on it and now it appears here on the screen with all the data that we just added see site one mobile nice description uh, the logo which is of course resized for mobile screens 
and with the rest of the data. Okay, uh, let's try to view our site. Here, we have to click on view site to see the site uh, that is rendered in this browser. And this is how it looks. You can scroll up and down. You see the logo, the nice description, and of course the two telephone numbers and the, the social network icons. And it says here the mobile site footer that will appear on every mobile site created. This will be uh, changed from admin. And of course the link to view regular site. If you go now to, the, to your phone and you type, uh, for example, uh, let's delete this and put mobile. It should render your site as it's seen on the mobile, but of course here is, is a bit wider because this is a, a laptop, not a, a, a phone. Okay, I hope uh, you understood the basics of, uh, of using um, my mobile site generator. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.